Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a favorites video, which is my favorite. I love to film favorites videos. I have a ton of products that I wanna share with you guys that I have been loving this past month and so many of them are drugstore and affordable because as you guys know, I've been really diving into the drugstore recently and I feel like I found some incredible products. So I can't wait to share those with you guys. And I also do have some high-end favorites as well. I just wanted to take a quick second to really thank you guys for all of your support that you've been showing me here on my channel. They're literally Literally not words that I can say to be able to express my gratitude towards you guys. It's just so insane to look at my subscriber count and to see how close we are to 100k. 100,000 people is so many people and it's just so insane. I don't think I mentioned this on my channel before but last Christmas my goal was to hit 10,000 subscribers on my channel and we reached that together and I was so happy. So during New Year's I decided to set a goal. I decided to just throw it out there like in an ideal world what would I want to be at by the end of this year and my goal was to reach 100,000 subscribers and it's so crazy that it's like October and we're almost there I don't even know what to say there are no words I'm so grateful for you guys and that cliche phrase that you hear all the time of like you can do anything follow your dreams if you work hard dreams come true like literally it's all so true I've been working really hard this past year and I couldn't do it without you guys either I know so many of you recommend my channel to your friends and family and I'm just so grateful for that. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. I'm like trying not to cry. But it's honestly just crazy to have a dream in your head, have a goal in mind, writing out your goal, and then like being able to achieve it when when you set that goal, it was totally out there and almost unachievable when you said it, but you wanted to just throw it out there and see what happened and it's just, that's what's happened to me and I'm just so incredibly grateful. So sorry, that's kind of sappy, but anyways, I just really wanted to say that to you guys. So before we get into this video, please make sure to be a subscriber of mine, be a part of the family. I post three times a week, so it's super fun here on my channel. And if you wanna be notified, just hit the little bell next to the subscribe button and that'll just mean you'll be notified every time I upload so that you can be one of the first people to watch my videos. Let's not waste any more time I'm so excited to share these products with you so let's get into it first thing that I've been loving is a brow product and it's actually a brow product from the drugstore this is what I've been using the past two weeks maybe it's the L'Oreal brow stylus shape and fill pencil I actually use the shade blonde even though I am brunette because I like the shade of it I feel like it's dark enough for me I feel like especially for a drugstore brow product this is incredible is it my favorite brow product of all time no but I have been using it so much recently so I had to throw this in here basically my brows that you've seen in the past two weeks or so of videos have been this product and another one I'm going to share with you as well but I'm really impressed with this. This one kind of has that teardrop shape which usually I don't actually love too much but I feel like this one's easy to apply. I don't really have anything bad to say about it. I mean it doesn't glide on as smooth as like my Anastasia or my Benefit pencils but since it's from the drugstore it's about half the price as my other brow products and it lasts all day and I've been loving it. The next brow product, this is something that I like love so much and I didn't realize how much I would love it. It's the Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer. I have mine in the shade Soft Brown and it makes my brows so fluffy. It fills them in a little bit more and it just makes them look so much more full than they normally are. Like I don't have brows and so to have fluffy looking brows is like a miracle for me. I feel like even if it had a high-end label stuck to it, I would still say it's amazing. The fact that it's from the drugstore and is really affordable makes it that much better. I've been absolutely loving this. The applicator is a little bit weird. It takes a minute to get used to. This is what it looks like. Um, and while you're applying, you kind of want to have a light hand and just let the applicator kind of glide onto your brow hairs. Otherwise, it can get splotchy. So with a little bit of practice, you can really get amazing results. I've been obsessed with this. Had to share it with you. I've been loving this blush. Um, this is from Tarte. It is their Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the shade Exposed. This is such a perfect, like, everyday shade. I have it on my cheeks today. It's so subtle, so soft. I feel like it would suit so many skin tones. It's gorgeous, and it lasts so, so long. I've heard a lot about this blush. I'm sure you guys have too. And Tarte actually sent this over to me, and I'm so happy they did because I've been wearing it so often. I love a good, like, neutral blush for every day. A kind of blush that you can throw on no matter what eye look you have or what lip color you have. Like, it will always work and I feel like this is one of those. So I wanted to show you guys that. Another face product, you guys probably know that this was gonna be in here. This was actually recommended by several of you guys and I'm so glad you did because it's amazing. I'm obsessed, you guys know. It is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. You guys, another amazing drugstore find. This really is like $4 at Ulta. It's what I have on my skin today. It's so 
soft. If you're somebody who likes like extremely blinding highlights, you might not love this, but if you like a more natural, buildable, glazed, donutty look, this is so pretty. And it's actually interesting because just by looking at the pan, it's kind of unassuming. There's nothing special to it. It kind of glows, but not really. And then once you apply it to your face, it's like, Whoa! Like, it's amazing. So glad that you guys told me about this because I literally have been choosing this over my high-end highlighters for the past two weeks or so, whenever I got this. I love this so much. I'm gonna be traveling today and I'm definitely taking this in my travel bag. It's just so good. So another face product that I've been loving is this right here. This is the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. It's a gorgeous matte bronzer that's just the perfect perfect shade. It also smells like chocolate. What's not to love? This is what I used to warm up my entire face today and it's so buttery. It blends out like a dream. It looks so natural and yet it's buildable. So even when I had a self tanner on, I was able to use this. Now I don't. I'm really fair but it still doesn't look too crazy on me. Like I'm able to really build it in the areas that I want or keep it pretty sheer if I like. I've been loving this. It's so so good. Just the way it blends, the way it smells, everything about it. I think it's amazing. This is what I've been gravitating toward recently so I wanted to show that to you guys as well. Let's talk about a couple eye products. This one probably won't come as a surprise to you because I've used it several times in my videos or at least a couple times. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Paints Metallic Eyeshadow. This one's in the shade Brass Knuckles. Let me swatch it for you. This formula is insane. And this shade is just out of this world. I love it. Look how beautiful that is. This would look so good on so many different skin tones. It's so vibrant. It's so metallic. I love this. And it's also a drugstore find. I don't know. The drugstore these days, I don't know. They're coming out with some really, really great products, I feel like. They did not have stuff like this when I was in high school. But this is something that will just help amp up any of your looks for fall, for winter, for evenings, for every day, whatever you want. Love this shade. And this is one of those products that won an award and it's well deserved in my opinion because it really is so good. This next eye product has made my winged liner a dream. This was another award winner and I've really fallen in love with it. And when I say award winner, I'm talking about the video that I made about the Allure Beauty Award winners, the drugstore ones. I picked this up because of that list. It is the Maybelline Curvitude Liner. What makes this special is the shape of the applicator. It makes it so easy to draw my wing and then I flip it this way draw the line and then connect it together. My wing liner has never been done so quickly in my life. That's what I love so much about it. I will say it doesn't dry down super, super matte. Well, it's pretty matte. It's it's more matte than a lot of mine. So it's kind of like a semi-matte finish. And also one thing I did notice is like, I accidentally rubbed my eye and it smeared a little bit. So it's not one of those like super permanent eyeliners. So if you do wipe your eyes a lot, just like be aware that this will smudge. But the main reason why I love it is the applicator it makes it so easy to do a wing liner. So if you've been somebody who struggled with that, try this out, you will love it. Okay, so I know this is a random clip that doesn't really match the rest of the video, but I really wanted to come on here and tell you guys something about the eyeliner that I realized later after filming this video. I wore it for an entire day and like even without touching it, it started to transfer along my lower lash line and I'm so upset. I debated like taking the whole, like the entire product out of the video, but I thought that I would leave it in there and just kind of give a little disclaimer instead. Um, just because I do love the way it applies so much. I love the concept of it. I'm just so bummed about the formula not being like long wearing. Um, and it's just kind of inconvenient when you do want to wear it for a long period of time. Like on me, it just started to bleed on the lower lash line and got really smudgy and all that. So I'm going to keep trying to play with it and try to see if I can set it with something to make it work. Let me know if you guys have tried this out and how it's been wearing on you. Maybe it's just my eyes, I don't know. Um, but I wanted to leave this in here just so that you guys know that that did happen to me and I'm really sad about it because I love the eyeliner otherwise. But I just thought I would throw this disclaimer in the video just in case you do try it and you have the same problem. I would love to know. So let me know in the comments if you have this problem or maybe it's just me. But I thought I would let you guys know. So. That's it. Okay, next I have to talk about this nail polish combination that I discovered just a couple days ago. So whether it counts for the whole month or not, I don't know, but I've been loving these nail polishes for a while. This was another Allure Award winner and I <laughs> cannot stop wearing this nail color. This is the Sally Hansen Color Therapy Nail Polish in the shade Cool Cucumber. Such a cool shade for fall. But I really wanted to tell you guys about this combo that I am wearing on my nails currently. What gives this color a sheen is putting one coat 
coat of the KL Polish nail polish in the shade Ocean Drive. This is one of my all-time favorite colors and I saw these sitting next to each other on the shelf and I was like, oh, like this could potentially make a cool accent nail with that. But then I tried one coat on top of this because one coat of this is kind of sheer and I'm obsessed with it. I mean, this kind of looks like holiday more than fall, but I will be wearing it for the rest of the year. Let's just be honest. But it gives it that really cool gold glittery shift, but it's still got that like deep emerald green. This combo is a dream, had to share it. I'm so obsessed with this. You probably could guess this as well because I've literally been wearing these in like every single video. I don't have a specific color, but the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipsticks, I can't. The color range is so gorgeous. They're from the drugstore and the formula is really great as well. Like there's nothing that I don't like about this. I'm so tempted to make a lip swatch video even though you guys have probably seen most of the shades in my videos already. Just because I love them so much, I would love to do that just to show you guys like the amazing color range and maybe help you guys pick one color that you would like. I'm wearing cowboy on my lips today. Can't get enough of these. Oh my goodness. Here's the thing about them. You really want to do as light of a layer as you can because they take quite a bit of time to dry down completely. But once they dry down, they stay on for hours. But they take several minutes to dry down fully. So that's the only thing if you're in a rush, like don't apply this and then eat something right after because it's not gonna be set yet. But once it does set, you can eat, you can drink, as long as it's not greasy or oily, it literally will stay on for so, so long. In fact, I ate breakfast after I applied this on and, and like it looks like I just put it on. So pretty much obsessed with those. <laughs> and again, the shades are insane. Maybe I'll show you guys a couple. I've been loving Rose Blood. I wore this shade in my Glam Drugstore tutorial. It's a super vampy color, but so, so gorgeous. And look how pretty it looks with that eyeshadow. You know what I'm saying? Really, really beautiful. If you're into more nude colors, this shade called called Nudist, which I've also used in a tutorial. This is really beautiful as well. I mean, these shades are gorgeous and they're insanely pigmented, so I had to show you guys those as well. I think that's everything that I have. I hope you guys enjoyed this favorites video. Let me know in the comments below what you guys have been loving this month. Please recommend some favorite makeup products because I love your opinions. Everything will be linked down below if you guys are interested in one of these things that I talked about. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to subscribe on your way out and I will see you all in my next video. Love you. Bye. Oh!